welcome to a brief walkthrough of the Avanos Operations application for ServiceNow. We are starting on the user's home page, where we can see a report from Avanos Operations right next to a report from another ServiceNow application. Since Avanos Operations is a native ServiceNow application, its data is stored in the same format as other applications, and can be reported upon and visualized in the same way. Next, we have the Active Event View. This provides a single pane of glass where events from disparate monitoring systems can be seen. It is easy to use. A user can easily filter events or change the columns using the standard ServiceNow List View interface. Operators can take action on the event, and supervisors can assign events to others. Right-click actions can also be added to trigger runbook automation jobs or workflow from ServiceNow. By clicking on an event, we can see the details of the event. We see that the system has related the event to a configuration item in the ServiceNow CMDB. And since it's related to a CI, we can quickly look at the CI in the CMDB or bring up the ServiceNow BSM map to see its relationships. The BSM map allows us to see how the router relates to other IT components and business services. When a CI is attached, Evanios Operations will automatically populate the affected services into the event. This data can be leveraged by our rules engine to make intelligent decisions on event handling, based upon which services are impacted. Here we can see that an incident was automatically created from this event. Evanios Operations allows multiple related events to be correlated onto a single ticket. The History tab contains a hyperlinkable list of all the rules applied to the event making it easy to understand how this event was processed. To see what logic was used to attach the CI, we can click on the Relate Retrieve rule, which takes us directly to the rule. Evanios Operations provides advanced event processing capability, but is configured simply through a form-based interface. Various rule types are available, which align to the event management processes defined in ITIL version 3. Within a rule, you define the order, schedule, and which events this rule should apply to. Note that these are the same schedules used by other ServiceNow applications, so an existing schedule defined through change management can be leveraged here. This makes it extremely easy to black out or treat specific events differently during the change window. Our Relate Retrieve rule allows us to look up a record in any ServiceNow table and bring this data back into our event. Now let's look at the rule which created the incident. This rule is set to trigger an incident when any event affects PeopleSoft. Notice that the order ensures it runs after the rule which attaches the CI. The event filter ensures that the tickets are only generated on events which affect the PeopleSoft business service. This is only one example of how we can deliver ITSM enabled event management within ServiceNow, where we leverage existing ITSM data for intelligent event management. Thank you for watching. To get more information or download Ivanios operations to try in your environment, please visit us at www.evanios.com.